But you can listen, check it out now. They let him out, people. They let him out. Now, Takashi 6 9 is a free man as we motherfucking speak. He is out in the free world. They let him out early this morning. They didn't tell the world because if you don't know, everything that happens in court for the most part is usually public unless the judge specifically says, don't make it public. So they didn't really make this public till 4 p.m., but the order was given by the judge to release 6 9 immediately from the custody of the U.S. Marshals at the private facility, the private jail, and he is now currently at home, okay? Now, what are the terms, okay? By the way, he got to register his new home, okay? He got to register his crib with the probation department, but from what I see so far, it doesn't look like he has restrictions in terms of social media and other things. The only thing the judge said is that he cannot leave the fucking crib at all unless he's meeting with his lawyer and he has to video call his probation officer every single motherfucking day. Okay, now he will also be monitored by GPS to make sure he stays in the crib, which pretty much means, man, he gonna act a fool on social media, okay? It is what it is. Regardless, I do think this is a huge win for 6 9 Of course, he wanted to get out at the top of the year, or actually back in December when the trial ended, but that was actually delayed because the judge wasn't gonna let him out without some type of punishment. Clearly, this coronavirus quarantine moment is cause enough for the judge to say, let that nigga go, and we're going to see what his first move is going to be. Okay, he's released, all right? I don't want to give you guys some hints of, you know, things I hear that's stirring up, but I do believe that, number one, the first priority got to be see the family, spend time with the family, spend time and show appreciation to everybody who's held you down. Also, probably in person, apologize to maybe your mom and some other people who has probably came under fire because of your actions and also you've put their lives at risk, okay? After that, okay, spend time with your daughter, your mom, your siblings, right? You probably are going to then go and record some music. Because at the end of the day, he's still a musician. He's not in witness protection. He's going to try to continue a music career. I say he should probably go record an album ASAP. Now, they're saying he can't leave the crib, but... But ain't nobody say the studio can't come to him. Move the studio in. Fuck it, okay? Get everything recorded ASA motherfucking P, and then you could start planning your first public appearance. Again, I know a lot of y'all be like, yo, Accio, that's your man's. You have the first interview. Y'all seen that interview, the big interview with me and him. When nobody fuck with him, I gave him that interview, but that doesn't necessarily mean I feel like entitled to have that first interview. And to be honest, I don't think that people would even care for that interview as much as if it was with a neutral source, okay? So to keep it real, I'm going to be honest with y'all, on the advice of you and me, I told him, yo, listen, go big with your first interview, but it can't be me, okay? Of course, we'll do content later on in the future, but it can't be me, like, like quizzing you about what you've learned and what you did and this, that, and third. got to be a neutral party for people to really respect it. And I think, to be honest, this shit's bigger than hip-hop. I feel like, yo, he could go Gail King with it. Again, that's just my thoughts, all right? You know, a lot of hip-hop outlets might not even want to talk to him just based on the allegations, or not even allegations, based on the fact he snitched. So I say he got to go big with it, all right? Again, those are just things that I think and, and, and opinions that I vocalize, but I do think spend time with the family, do some music, plan that first big appearance. And no, I don't think your first big appearance is on quarantine radio, even though that shit been going crazy recently. But I do think... Rather quickly, since he's out, we should see things start to materialize in terms of his rollout to continue his career. Also, if some people are wondering, is he going to change? Is he going to just apologize and be a good boy? Or is he going to double down and tell everybody to suck his dick? I think you'll see that rather soon, okay? I'll keep you guys updated, but you'll only find the exclusive right here on my channel, okay? And when I get the first images of him or even just the first soundbite of him saying he misses y'all, um, again, I don't know if you guys know our relationship, but like he always enjoyed it, whether being on my channel, covered on my channel, or even being on my stream. So I'll definitely get something for you guys in a while. All right, get a comment. I you guys like them subscribe to Academics. Six nine is free, y'all.